right, friends, today we're doing lessons three. Mm, maybe if I could speak, <laughs> we're doing lesson 6.9 and go math. So find your math book, open up to page 243, and pause the video until you get there. Okay, these are important special rules for when you divide by 1 or 0. So just like in multiplication, there's special rules for anything times 1 is the same thing. And anything times 0 equals 0. There's some special rules about division too. First, they're going to teach us the 1 rule. So, there's only one fishbowl. Then all the fish have to go in that fishbowl, right? We're not going to leave a fish out of the fishbowl. He would not do very well. So, since there are four fish in the picture, divided into one fishbowl, that means there's one, two, three, four fish in the fishbowl. So let's draw our fish in a fishbowl. There's three fish and one fishbowl. Draw a quick picture to show the fish in the fishbowl. So draw a fishbowl. And then you need three fish. So three fish put in one fishbowl means that there are how many fish total in the fishbowl? Three in the fishbowl. So the first rule is right to here. Any number divided by one equals that number. So if I did 5,629 divided by one, if I had that many fish in a fish tank, but there's only one fish tank, that means all 5,629 fish are going to be in the one fish tank. I don't have enough room over there. So, rule number one, right here. Any number divided by one equals that number. If there are the same number of fish and fish bowls, then one fish goes in each fish bowl. So, if there's four fish, and four fish bowls, then there's one fish in each bowl, right? We're not going to put all four of those fish into one tiny fish bowl. They would get squished. So if we have three fish and three fish bowls, let's draw a picture. So I have one fish bowl, two fish bowls, three fish bowls, one fish, two fish, three fish. So three fish divided into three fish bowls is one fish per fishbowl. And they all have their happy little homes. So the second rule is any number except zero. Zero is a troublemaker in this, in division, their problem. So, not zero, but anything divided by itself equals one. So any number 10 divided by 10 is 1. If I have 10 people and I give 10 pieces of candy out, each person's going to get one piece of candy. Right? 10 fish, 10 fish bowls. Every fish bowl is going to have one fish. So those are your two rules for addition. Or <laughs> addition. For division for ones. Let's go to the next page and do zero. There are zero fish and four fish bowls. There will not be any fish in the fish bowl. So if I have zero fish and three fish bowls, so there's one fish bowl, two fish bowl, three fish bowl. How many fish are in each bowl? There's no fish, right? So zero fish split into three fish bowls means that there's going to be zero. So rule C, so the zero rule, zero divided by any number except zero, troublemaker zero, equals zero. So 
0 divided by 29 is still going to be 0. If I don't have anything to put in those 29 fish bowls, then I'm not going to have anything at the end of it. Now, this is the most important part right here. If there are zero fish bowls, then you can't separate the fish equally into fish bowls. You cannot divide by zero at all, ever, period, end of story. You cannot have zero in the middle of a division sentence. If you see that, you have my permission to cross it out. Now, I don't want you to scribble through the page and make a big mess. But anytime you see that, you just exit out. It is not happening. You cannot do it at all. You cannot divide by zero. Okay? That's important. Let's keep going. And when we get to a one that has a zero in the middle, we're just going to cross it out. Use the picture to find 2 divided by 2. So we have 2 B's in 2 B hives. 2 divided by 2 is 1 B in each hive. Maybe. There we go. 7 divided by 1. If I have 7 split into 1 bowl, how many fish are in that fish bowl? Seven, right? You could draw a picture too. So seven in one bowl means that I still have seven there, right? Eight divided by eight. So if I have eight dots, And then I put each dot in its own spot. Each dot has its own circle around it, which means there's one in each spot. So 8 divided by 8 is 1. If I have 0 divided by 5, so if I don't have anything, but I have 5 circles, whoops, maybe, how many do I have in each circle? I don't have anything in each circle, it's 0. 6 divided by 6, so if I have 6 dots, and I put each one in its own circle, then I have 1 in each circle. Turn the page. This says on your own. Let's do them by yourself and then pause the video while you do them and then come back and I'll do them with you, okay? The first one says zero divided by eight. So if I have zero fish in eight fish bowls, I'm gonna have no fish at the end. Can't make some magically appear. If I don't have any, I'm not gonna have any at the end. If I have five fish and five fish bowls, then there will be one fish in each. If I have two fish and one fish bowl, then there's going to be two in my fish bowl. If I don't have any fish, but I have seven fish bowls, how many fish am I going to have at the end? Still nothing. All right, if I have zero fish split into five fish bowls, then I'm going to have zero. Now this one is fine. Remember, this one, when they're written like this, it's the same thing as zero divided by five. So the zero's not in the middle. So this one's okay. So that one would be zero. Because if I have zero fish and five fish bowls, then I'm gonna have nothing in any of these circles, nothing in the fish bowls. So this one's fine. It's not one that you cross out. 9 divided by 1. If I have 9 fish and 1 fish bowl, then all 9 of them would be in the same bowl. If I have 7 fish and 7 fish bowls, then 1 goes in each bowl. If 
I have 10 fish in 10 fish bowls. One goes in each fish bowl. Now these ones I want you to do on a separate piece of paper. So get out your math notebook if you didn't do them already somewhere else and copy them in your math notebook. Let me see if I can get a new page. Uh, all right, so the first one, remember you need to number them nicely, so 14. Six divided by one is, and then if I have six fish bowls with one fish, wait, just kidding, that's opposite. If I have six fish in one fish bowl, then I'm going to have six fish total in the fish bowl. Then remember, I like when you skip a line so that this stays organized. So I did 14. Now look, 15 is next to it, 25 divided by 5. And that's just five. So that one's not one. That's not one of your ones or zeros. Then zero divided by six. If I have zero fish and six fish bowls, then I'm gonna have zero fish to the at the end. Number 17, 18 divided by three. Six, and remember if you're doing it in your notebook and you need to draw a picture, you can do three rows, four, five, six, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, wait, 16, 17, 18. So three rows, and then I have six in a row. So you can draw a picture next to it if you need to. 18 is 14 divided by 2, which is 7, 19, 9 divided by 9, which is 1, 20, 28 divided by 4, which equals seven, 21, eight divided by one is eight. Then you can fold your paper and make that line down the middle. Then I have 22. 27 divided by 3. So you're going to want to put it on the bottom line so that you put your answer up at the top. And 27 divided by 3 gives you 9. Ten divided by 5 is 2. Zero divided by three is zero. Twenty-five is zero. Oops. Zero divided by one, which is also zero. Okay, so now that you have those done, let's do the problem solving at the bottom. Claire has seven parakeets. She puts four in a cage. So seven minus, it would help if I wrote a four. Seven minus four is three. She divides the other parakeets equally among three friends to hold. So three divided by Three friends means each friend gets to hold how many parakeets? 
3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 parakeet. Lena has some parrots. She gives each parrot one grape. If Lena gives out five grapes, how many parrots does she have? So five parrots, I mean five grapes, divided by one to each. So five split into, yeah, right? Yeah, so five grapes gives each one one grape. So that means each parrot ate one, so there would be five parrots. Suppose a pet store has 21 birds that are in 21 cages. Use what you know about division rules to find the number of birds in each cage. Explain your answer. So if I have 21 birds divided by 21 cages, that means 21 divided by 21 would be 1. So 1 bird per And then the last page is Joe has four horses. He puts each horse in its own stall. How many stalls does Joe use? Four horses divided by one stall each means that he needs four stalls for each horse. Well, four stalls total. You learn the rules for division with one. Compare and contrast how they help you learn how to use the rules to solve problems. Compare the rules. Think about how they are alike and then think about how they are different. So, rule A is any number divided by 1 equals that number. Rule B says any number except 0 divided by itself equals 1. How are the rules alike? Both are division rules for one. How are they different? Rule A is about dividing a number by one. So that would be a number divided by one equals itself. And rule B is dividing a number by itself. So then that would be seven divided by seven equals one. So there's two problems down at the bottom. We have to decide which rule it shows. Number 30 says Jamal brought seven goldfish at a pet store. He put them in one fish bowl. How many goldfish did he put in the bowl? So seven divided by one fish bowl would be seven fish. So is that rule A or rule B? Rule A says any number divided by 1 equals that number. So any number divided by 1 equals that number. Rule B is dividing a number by itself. So we're dividing by 1, which means we're using rule A, right? Because we're dividing 7 into 1 group. Ava has 6 turtles. She divides them equally among 6 aquariums. How many turtles does she put in each aquarium? 6 divided by 6 is 1. So that would be rule B because rule A says it's dividing a number by 1. We're not dividing by 1. We have the same number dividing by itself. So this one shows rule B and 30 shows rule A. All right. Finish with math for the day. Good job, guys. See you soon.